Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and today Google started rolling out a new version of Hangouts for Android dubbed Hangouts 4.0. Now iOS has had this update for quite some time, but now that it's on our favorite little bug droids OS, I felt it to be a good time to go ahead and take a look at some of the changes that come with Hangouts 4.0. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. Now, as mentioned, Google is rolling this update out in stages through the Google Play Store. But if you don't see the update and you don't feel like waiting, I'll have a link down below that you can visit to download and install the APK. Anyway, Hangouts 4.0 is a pretty big revamp, both cosmetically and feature-wise, that deserves some attention since Android users have been stuck using the slow, ugly Hangouts for quite a while. So upon opening the app, you're now presented with this clean new page with the list of your current conversations, as well as that famous floating action button. Gone is a dual paint area you see with the old hangouts and I'm super glad they got rid of that. It was pretty ugly and useless, well for me anyway. Now if we hit that compose floating action button, we'll have a myriad of options to choose from including quickly starting a conversation with a recent contact, initiating a video call, creating a new SMS if you're using hangouts for SMS or group message, and then just the standard new hangouts conversation. This approach is much better than the previous one in both looks and function so it's a welcome change in my book. Hitting the plus button is also a lot easier now that it's down towards the bottom, especially if you're on a bigger phone, since trying to hit it at the top was a little bit of a nuisance. Now hitting into a conversation, we can see just how different it looks. Gone are the green text bubbles that indicate which messages are yours and present are much more neutral gray. While I'm still not sure how I feel about it, I have to say that it's not really bothering me at all. The icons at the top right have been brightened up by being switched from black or gray to white and you now have your options at the bottom of the text box rather than next to it. Much like with Google's homegrown messenger app, you can now add in a picture after you begin typing out a message, which is wonderful for those of us who sometimes forget to add it before we start typing or just aren't used to that. And although you can't see as many pictures in this view as you can in Google Messenger, it's still a much welcome change. You also have the stickers down here too, as well as location. Overall, it's a much prettier and more functional way to handle these operations. And for you Google Voice users, you're now getting the option to receive group messages to your Google Voice number, but composing a group SMS message will have to wait until a future update to the app. Now I have noticed scrolling in fairly big conversations with a lot of pictures to have quite the stutter as it tried to load the pictures while I scrolled, but hopefully that's something that can be fixed over time or with an update. Also, there's no fast scroll bar on the side like there is in Google Messenger, which is a bit of a letdown, and the fact that there still isn't an option to search for specific keywords in your conversation is pretty annoying. Oh, and there isn't any sort of quick reply feature either, which is something I really miss from Google Messenger. Other than these issues, speed seems faster and performance improved. So overall, I would say that this Hangouts 4.0 is a very nice update with some major improvements both aesthetically and practically, but it's still going to require an update or two to sort out any lingering performance issues and add a few more features that'll make it absolutely killer. That's pretty much it though. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe down there for more videos from me. And don't forget to follow me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.